of x is equal to x over x squared. So there are two ways we can do it. We can do quotient rule or we can simplify. So if I wanted to simplify this first and I looked at x over x squared, I could rewrite this as x over x times x. And then if I do that, what do I end up with? Well, this cancels and I'm left with one on top and x on the bottom, which means that I can then either know what that is or I can rewrite it as x to the negative one. And then when I go to take the derivative, c prime of x is equal to negative one times x to the negative two, which is negative one over x squared. These are equal. T and B are popular, so you can do top and bottom, because then you don't have to remember what's F and G. So T is equal to X, B is equal to X squared, T prime is equal to one, and B prime is equal to two X. So then it's T prime B. Have you ever seen the children's show Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? Okay, so this, the song Chicka Chicka Boom Boom starts, A told B and B told C. You can adapt that here. You can say T prime B minus B prime T all over B squared, all over B squared. Whatever you do, man, like whatever works for you. The important thing is you just plug in the pieces. So one times X squared minus X times two X all over X squared quantity squared. And that's kind of, I don't like the way that looks. So I'm going to say, well, that's actually equal to X squared minus two X squared all over X to the fourth, which is um, minus X squared over X to the fourth, right? Let's take a second because that was a lot of steps. Notice that's the same thing we got the other way. The question is, do you want to do your algebra on the front or on the back? If you do it on the front, the derivative turns out to be easier. Like, no, if you do it on the front, the derivative is easy either way. But if you do it on the front side, you don't have to do as much to do to clean up the derivative. If you, if you don't clean it up first, you'll have to clean it up at the end. So neither way is really simpler. It's just where now all of those, we had two different options. Like if you look at each of these A, B, and C things, we could have done algebraically, or we could have done it is D of X equals two to the X over X. What is, uh, so I'm going to do my top and my bottom. My top is two to the X and my bottom is X. So my T prime will be natural log of two times two to the X and my B prime will be equal to one. Do you agree? Now I'm going to plug in to my pattern and I'm telling you, if you want to learn this pattern, just keep writing it out. Even if you have to copy it from somewhere, if you write it out every time you need to use it and don't try to memorize it, without writing it down, you'll remember it. So F prime. D prime of X is equal to um, ln of two times two to the X times X minus two to the X times one all over X squared. You can factor it out, you can't cancel. So you can factor it out if you want to, and that's a good thing to point out because um, we could simplify this as two to the X over ln two X minus one divided by X squared. And that that might work. Um, in this case, it doesn't help to, it doesn't help us cancel anything, but I think it's a really good thing to notice because once you notice that, if you did have something where you could cancel it, you'd be able to cancel it. So could we do one more of these? Yeah. Okay. So what if we look at, we've finally gotten to F. So what if we looked at big F of X is equal to X fifth over two to the X. Now, can I use algebra to cancel here? The answer is no, because the X's are on different levels, right? So I can't do that here. But what I can do is I can use quotient rule. I'm going to identify my top and my bottom. And this is why I don't like to use F and G so much, because lots of times you'll be looking at F of X equals this. And you can't have F of X be the function itself and the top. So whatever letters you like to use, T and B or A and B, um, T is equal to X to the fifth. T prime is equal to five X to the fourth. B is equal to two to the X. B prime is equal to natural log of two times two to the X. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you could write it as 2 to the x times 2 to the x is equivalent. So can we simplify? Let's go ahead and pull out that 2 to the x like you pointed out a second ago. We can factor out this 2 to the x because it's being multiplied by both pieces. Can we factor out anything else? We also have an x to the fourth that we can factor out because x to the fifth is equal to x times x to the fourth. So if I pull out both of those pieces, what I have is x to the fourth times two to the x times five minus x 
times ln of 2 all over 2 to the x quantity squared. Do you yes, see what? Okay. I see it. Okay. In doing this, is there any simplification I could do after I did that factor? Just like you can think of this pattern as if I have a over a squared, I can cancel that out, right? And left with one over a. And it doesn't matter what a is. So the fact that this is two to the x quantity squared doesn't hurt anything. So f prime of x, capital F prime of x is equal to x to the fourth times five minus x times ln of two two to the x. Now you have five examples of a problem where you can use quotient rule. And on two of them, you have to basically use quotient.